so i don't know how to start this uh i feel like if there's one upside to being gen z then it's probably how much more accessible it is to reach our dreams like with tech and social media pretty much anyone can become famous for a lot of reasons as well like whether they're talented or untalented and i can't lie majority of them are untalented but that's not the point for today with this like american dream world we live in i find myself at a point where i'm ready to share my projects and maybe make some of my dreams a reality so since like 14 i've always wanted to make games not like them dumb mobile games but like one where I can create like a whole lore rich world with diverse characters and all of that jazz and all and yeah now as a 20 year old I've spent three years learning on Unreal Engine and a few months working on this game and I'm actually excited to show you all what I've got so this project is a third person action RPG and it's kind of like a cross between Genshin Impact and Warframe those are kind of like two of my favorite games to play right now and yeah i know it looks nothing like warframe but low-key that's a good thing i don't want to give away too much but in short you're an exorcist and you've got to fight demons you're able to switch between four different characters but right now there's only about two in the game so for the art style i went with cell shading mostly out of necessity I mean, I'm one person and this shit takes full teams sometimes. But I do think at the end of the day, it looks decent. It's also kind of cost effective and I think it gives the game a fantastical look. Also, just because the character looks like me doesn't mean I have an ego. I'm just working with my main point of reference, which is me. So combat for now is still in its early stages. Uh, characters have a light combo and a heavy combo which change depending on whether they're on the ground or in the air. See a heavy will probably drain stamina or mana, I'm not too sure at the moment. There's also power moves which are activated when the button is held down. This will usually be like a charge attack or it would be an uppercut attack launching enemies into the air. The AI is, ah uh, well. It's there. It's not in its best form at the moment, but I've got plans to work on it. See, the AI uses a weighted loot table to generate decisions. When did I say weighted loot table? It's not weighted loot table. See, the AI uses weighted tables to generate decisions, similar to like a loot box. What this means is that in theory, AI can be varied simple or as complex as i like them to be without me having to do too much work but for the moment i would just push the whole ai to the side there's also a bare bones inventory system so characters can equip weapons which match their type so one-handed characters can equip one-handed weapons but can't equip two-handed or guns etc so i spent some time adding kirito sword from sword Art online and Madara's fan blade thing from Naruto. Although barely implemented, there is a skill system and I actually don't know what it is, but I just love a good skill tree. Anyway, you can unlock skills by dragging them into the hotbar. And yeah, it's kind of buggy, but it's still early days. Really, that's just my excuse for being like mad lazy. Lastly, quest and rewards. Like everything else in this devlog, it's just bare bones at the moment. So far we can check for simple objectives. Go to location X, the free free whatevers, or interact with this thingy. So again, a basic system.
See, games of this type need to have a lot of replayable content, but also keep them varied. As a solo developer, it would be crazy for me to try and develop like a thousand different types of quests, right? So I thought I'd go for a system that generates different quests and bounties on the fly. I actually had this implemented on an earlier project, but not this one, but I'm planning to move it to this new one. So anyway, that covers all I've gotten up to with this project. See, as a student, I can't really put like all my effort into this, but at the same time, when I'm not doing this, I hate myself. So there's like a fine balance between there. I've got new features and more things I'm developing. And if you're interested, I do stream game development a few times a week on my Twitch and I'll probably put a link there somewhere, but I'll be doing more devlogs on YouTube, maybe monthly or semi-monthly. So, um, you know, as they say, smash that like button, subscribe and uh, yeah, peace.